Hello to you all and welcome to another weather video. My name is Nigel, the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and today we're covering the storm which is about to hit this whole area of the northeast shoreline of Lake Erie. Uh, throughout the day I'm going to be covering many areas, uh, Crystal Beach, uh, Shirkston and down to Fort Erie uh, to show you what's happening as the storm comes in and the aftermath probably as well as after it's been. As of right now, I'm just standing uh, on the beach here, um, water's low uh, but we are expecting a seish uh, which is when the waters from the very far end of Lake Erie which is way down there towards Cleveland get pushed up by the very strong winds and create like a tidal surge really which they call a seish on the Great Lakes and it'll push the water really way past where I'm standing right now so uh, we are anticipating a, a big storm surge today. We're also anticipating very, very strong winds starting in a couple of hours, uh, just after one o'clock, where wind gusts along the, uh, between Port Coburn, Crystal Beach and Fort Erie could be in excess of 120 kilometers an hour. And inland, as far as uh, Welland, St. Catharines and Niagara Falls, you're looking at probably 95 to 100 kilometer an hour winds as well. So this is a really, really big, strong, uh, big st uh, storm that is coming in today. Uh, there's a lot of uh, amateur weather uh, people around the area. Uh, I've come across a few already on Twitter and a few driving around. Uh, some of the professionals are on the way down here as well. So it's going to be a very active day. So uh, I'm prepared. I'm out here with the geese right now and uh, we're in the middle of the lull right now. So uh, yeah, there you have it. All right, I'm down at Shirkston right now. The time is 12.20. Uh, I've been down here like 15, 20 minutes. I just set up my GoPro to do a time lapse. And in the last like 10, 15 minutes, the uh, winds are starting to pick up. I've also noticed the waves again a little bit choppier than what they were when I first arrived. And the cloud has now really started to build from our southwest, which is now pushing in. So uh, anyway, I was just talking to a resident who just lives over here. Uh, they're down from Mississauga and they've come down to check on their property and tie everything down. There's quite a few people here very worried about their uh, properties right now. And rightly so. Um, this is a really big storm that's coming in. So I'm going to be down here for the next hour or two, uh, keeping an eye on this from this area. Once the storm has really hit, around about two-ish, uh, and then we're, into, we're really into it. I'm going to head back down to Crystal Beach. So for the next hour or so, I'm going to anchor right here and see what happens. So as of right now, there's still a beach right there. And behind me, there's quite a bit of uh, stuff here. But uh, just here is all the rocks. And they, uh, they put this in quite a few years ago after a major storm and the storm eroded everything. So they, they spent a lot of money here uh, shoring up this whole area. Uh, they dug really deep into the ground and put these big massive boulders in here, then more and more rocks to basically take the impact of the big waves that crash in to stop all this from eroding. So we'll see if it holds up this year. Hopefully it will do. I have faith in them. And I think all the people here at Shirkston should have faith in them too. So anyway, um, I'm gonna try and take shelter for a little bit and uh, see how it goes. All right, just briefly, it actually went quite warm. So I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Middle of December and just a t-shirt, unreal. Uh, but I think it's gonna start cooling down pretty quickly now. Uh, in the background is the first band of rain just starting to move in. Uh, the winds are picking up. And I was watching a couple of the rocks over there as I'm sitting on the uh, porch here and I'm starting to see them disappear, which is telling me the, uh, the water is now starting to come further forward and start lifting up. So I think in the next few minutes, things are gonna start changing. All right, I've changed into my waterproof gear. Uh, the storm is imminent. It's moving in very, very quickly right now. Uh, when it comes in, that rain at 100 kilometers an hour plus is gonna really hurt. So I've got the sailing gear on, I've got the jacket to put on later on, and if need be, I'll put some goggles on. Uh, but this could get pretty nasty. I've just been speaking to my friend uh, Rick uh, down at the Palmwood, who's also a storm spotter. He's just informed me that him and Mark Robinson from the Weather Network have just been told to leave the area by the fire department. And they've actually gone around and moved everyone out of there who's actually on foot as well. So there's no cars in there and now there's no people on foot in there. So the, the town of Fort Erie, the fire department, the police and everyone else involved are taking this very, very seriously. So uh, I think we're gonna have a massive storm. But the rain is right there, rain is there, a little gap just over there, and it's coming. So uh, let's hope I get a good video out of this, but most importantly, I hope everyone stays safe.
don't know if you can see this, but uh, look at this cloud here, the droppage just here. That's like really low cloud, very fast moving. And just over here, a little bit brighter. But yeah, these are really cool skies right now. Right, as you can see, uh, the water's coming up pretty quickly now. Uh, most of this was clearly visible earlier. Ooh, now it's pushing up. I could have walked along there when I first arrived. And now it's pushing up this way as well. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get close to that uh, that water right now. Let's see if I can get around here. Oh yep, someone's got some damage. Look at that, it's just being ripped off. These uh, the siding panels are all coming off. Gotta be careful of that because uh, it's those things that are deadly in storms. It's not so much the wind that's dangerous, it's the debris that comes with it. It just flies over the place and that's what kills people. Okay, here we are. I've got a bit of shelter here, I'll try this one. Oh yeah. Okay, very quickly. Okay, there's the siege right there. See, all that beach is where I was standing earlier on is now completely gone. So it's really still coming up. Look at that, what a difference just a few minutes makes. Wow. Insane.
I put the goggles in the truck today. The sand is like really, really, really bad. So anyway, I'm down here right now. This is Pleasant Beach next to Shirkston. I don't know how much we can pick up on the microphone, but yeah, Pleasant Beach and Shirkston. Winds are very, very strong here. I'm going to try and get down to the beach, see what I can see. How strong these waves really are and how strong this wind is. I'm down at Pleasant Beach, just on the uh, the very west end of Port Coburn, heading back in towards the Fort Erie area. And uh, every now and then the water comes right up to where I'm standing. And that sand you just saw over there, you need to wear these. It's the only way I could get down here. It really was. So uh, anyway, got to start heading back. Jeez. Holy! Those are really, really big waves coming in. Alright, look at this! This is insane! This really, really does hurt, by the way. <laughs> I'm not joking. That is really, really nasty. Well, uh, we're pretty gusting right now. It feels like, to me, uh, a good 100 kilometers an hour. I'm going to get my wind read around very shortly. Holy, look at this folks, this is intense right now, unbelievable, as you can tell, it's really, really bad, wow. Alright, back down at uh, Crystal Beach, see what we can see, quite a few people here. I think it's a lot worse than what it was this morning when I was here. So I'm going to quickly show you. All right. Oh, no good that coffee, mate. Gee. As you can see, the waves are now crashing over from where they were earlier this morning. Uh, this was all beach just a few hours ago. Alright, this is Crystal Beach, like you've probably never seen it before. Uh, normally packed with tourists, especially in the summer months, but right now we're in the middle of a massive storm. Waves are crashing right up on us right here. Uh, there's quite a bit of damage down here already being caused by this uh, strong wave surge. But these waves are massive coming in. I spent a lot of time out here this summer on my sea -Doo, literally just hanging out over there, and I've never seen anything like this during the summer. So this is a very intense storm which is actually coming in right now. Listen to that wind. My lord!
folks. <laughs> I'm in the danger zone now. Wow, this is really picking up pretty drastically. Look at that go. Look at that go. Holy. Easy, son, easy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spin the camera around shortly. Uh, okay, now. All right, I'm down here at Crystal Beach. And it's mad. Absolutely mad right now. Uh, winds are gusting close to 110 kilometers an hour. We've still got another an hour and a half to two hours before we hit the peak of this storm, which is around about 6 p.m. Uh, but this is Crystal Beach. Uh, normally, this is all sand and you can walk along it, but right now it's gone. So, uh, yeah, that's the latest from uh, me. So, uh, keep following me. The sage has come all the way up. This house is completely getting flooded right now. Uh, right in there. Waves are just pummeling right over. Like that, like that, like that. She's really here right now. Look at that. That was a big, powerful one. That's going to make it. To, I, got, I got water boots on. That's going to make it up to the uh, road very shortly, which is just over here. So, what you just saw there was uh, the sage taking place. Basically, a huge push of water just came flying up this roadway here and uh, things went up to the road. So, it's going to be a bit more coming up because we're still expecting more of this storm. Okay, down in uh, Fort Erie, right by the water here, as you can hear, and you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's quite rough. And there's quite a lot of debris in the road down here, where things are being tossed up. We've got the roads closed, so that we're just staying away. Uh, the road's flooded just over here, and oh, there's another big splash. And just over here, but the wall's doing what it's supposed to do, and uh, defending those properties. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the river, this is the mouth of the Niagara River, by the way. Lake Erie starts just over there, and the uh, river is right here. And uh, that's Buffalo right there, so look at that. It's just eroding away the ground here. You can see... Um, Okay. Yeah, you can see where it's just eroding everything away. Unbelievable. This is absolutely powerful. I don't know what I was trying to say there, actually. I've got lots of words, maybe a little tired. A few flashes of light over there, maybe the states might have a bit of a power outage shortly. Okay, let's move on somewhere else. Actually, you can't really see it on the camera, but the water is right here. It has been up here already, so it has started to subside. You can see waves just here. So where I was this morning was uh, way over there. And I can just about work out the top of the wall over there. So the water is really, really high. But it looks like it has started to subside already. Because uh, there's a lot of water where it's been on the road. And it's now disappearing. So it looks like the worst is over. But I'm going to head down... A bit further into Fort Erie and see what we see down that way. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay, 
okay. I got wellies on. I got wellies. <laughs> All right. I just hear. <laughs> yeah. I just heard look out, look out, and uh, a massive wave just came in off the river and uh, got me. So uh, anyway, I'm down here at uh, the Niagara River right now, and with uh, Storms underscore underscore Erie, he's with me, and uh, we're just checking out the Niagara River, and it's uh, pretty nasty. I'll just quickly turn the camera around so you can see. There you go. So this is the Niagara River. And uh, breaking the wall, it's coming right over. So uh, there you have it. That is the uh, Peace Bridge you can see lit up over there. And uh, the river is very, very high and is running very, very fast. A lot of water's come over the, the land. Uh, over there by Canada Border Services, the roads are closed and all flooded. Right, just walking up to where I was standing earlier on in the day when it was daylight. Uh, I think it was about 10 o'clock this morning, I think I was down here. There was no water, of course. I was showing you the blockades they had put up. But now I'm back here and I'll just show you the water levels. So we've got water coming up on the streets here. And this is where the road's closed. And this is where I did the uh, filming at the beginning, like this. So it's flooded right across, quite deep down there, and the water's come right over here. All right, back at Crystal Beach, and uh, ooh, you can hear it. It's still windy down here, and we've actually walking down to where we normally drive. Wow. And look at the destruction that's being caused by the Seiche. So this is why cars can't come down here right now, it's all blocked off, because it's just literally, the sand dunes have all gone, everything's gone. Absolutely gone. I mean, these were all sand dunes here earlier on. It's completely open. Uh, yeah, what a mess. Right, this is the entrance to the beach right here and normally you walk right over the sand dunes but as you can see there is no sand dunes the water is still coming up nice big log here what is this okay that's what's left of one of the sand dunes wow what a mess that is insane like a mess up here as well all right this is why they closed off the parking lot because there's sticks stones rocks everywhere still a lot of water the water's still crashing over just over there Private property, no trespassing. That's been blown up from someone's property. Look at that! It's insane. Look at the size of the. I gotta show you this. Check this out. Check this out. Look at the size of these things. Look at that. Just toss the pier.
Got another play chicken. All right, I'll stand here and watch him play chicken then. This is your road in, and normally you'll take a left hand turn here, but it's completely blocked by look at the size of these tree trunks that have come in. And uh, it's hard to figure out where to scoop it all up. But as you can see, just over there, the whole uh, sand dunes to the beach are completely washed away. There he goes. Time to call it a day. It's uh, just got 9.35 in the evening. It's been a long day. Uh, been out since just about 6.30 this morning, running around covering many places. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it as always. Uh, the, the editing bit is the worst bit, uh, but we managed to get to the end of it. So uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please make sure you like and subscribe if you've not already done so. Uh, I really appreciate that. And for all you people who have been following me on Twitter, thank you very much for that, for um, um, following me on Twitter retweeting the uh, the videos I posted and so on during the storm. I appreciate that. So if you don't know my Twitter handle, by the way, it is at Lake Erie Vlogger. Lake Erie Vlogger is my Twitter handle uh, for all things pertaining to this uh, YouTube channel, which is Nigel's Chief Vlogs. And of course, I'm Nigel. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, see you all very soon. Take care.